Welcome to the iPaint Creatures channel right here on YouTube and today I'm going to show you more of these incredible fantastical sketches I do in what's called the Creaturepedia and I'll put a link up above and down below so you can see the video of what is the Creaturepedia and basically uh, what I wanted to talk about today is why I prefer doing traditional art versus digital and how I use both of them in my creation process of making picture books and animations and uh, art for social contexts of things you know as my job as a professional poet visual storyteller painter illustrator and so why I prefer traditional art is because it really gives me a tactile experience with the materials and I also you know adhere to the wisdom and the knowledge that the incredible Bob Ross put forward and I look at happy accidents as more you know creative problem solving and working with the world and how it is and becoming kind of that channel for the art and not necessarily, you know, the full creative, or, you know, participating with the universe or nature and going back to my more natural processes of creating things. And doing this Creaturepedia, I basically, you know, get the opportunity to do art for people and represent, you know, what they feel inside is their superpowers. Like, because a lot of us have grown up in the generation of comic books and superheroes and fantastical creatures from stories of Lord of the Rings to Star Wars to Star Trek to a lot of you know popular comics like Calvin and Hobbes and uh, all the you know latest ones like Adventure Time and and of course the incredible work of uh, you know Nightmare Before Christmas and and things like that right and so uh, especially because I, I stream on Twitch uh, I, I get to ask these people questions and the, most of them are gamers so they they know all about fantastical worlds and they play those uh, role-playing games so they actually become the creature or the character in the game and so this opportunity gives me opportunity to ask them you know what they're made of and then uh, it's super creative to be able to uh, do the sketch real quick there and bring forth all their you know fantastical features and things that are usually unseen and uh, find a, a way to visually represent them and I think using uh, traditional media and especially I love doing these creatures you know in a very sketchbook format and so I'm not so tied to the final result and and how perfect it is and I'm more in the act of, of, of doing, you know, like what musicians do, do live art and express my uh, levels of craft and artistic abilities to basically connect with people and uh, create a dialogue beyond, you know, just, you know, small talk and, and finding more about ourselves. And so traditional media allows me to just, you know, start laying down colors. I have to apply a lot of the, you know, fundamentals but it allows me to do what I've always loved to do and, and I believe a lot of visual artists love to do is work in our sketchbooks because it allows us to open our mental faculties, imagination, wonder and have a very experimental fun time and of course like I've been saying in some of my other videos you know go back to what inspired you and then make art that you can't buy in this world or you can't get from any other artists you know and it also brings forth your originality and the courage to be you and traditional media you know just has that tactile feel and I believe you know digital media is incredible and how I use it in, in my process is the editing process so thank you for watching and I'll see you all real soon I paint creatures out